Good day to everyone. We are now with another example on dimensional analysis. For this example, we will be converting 1.00 square kilometers into acres. So again, we always start with our given. So our given is 1.00 square kilometers and we need, we need to convert that into the corresponding amount in acres. So as you can see, you now have two blanks here, meaning that we need at least two conversion factors. And of course, before we can get our conversion factors, we must have or know our corresponding equivalent statements, which are 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. And the other one is 1 acre is equal to 4,046.856 square meters. Now, you might have seen this before in our previous examples now you must be wondering which equivalent statement to start with so we always look back at what we started with our unit here is in square kilometers so this equivalent statement should be this one here which is one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so we have written it here in our denominator so that we'll be able to cancel the unit but wait as you can see the unit here is in square kilometers but this one here is in kilometers only so we have to square everything for it to be equivalent to this one in square kilometers and for it to be able to be cancelled out. So we can we now square this one. So there we have squared it now. Remember, we square everything, not just the unit, but most importantly also the value. So that is 1.00 square kilometers is now equal to this one. I'll be able to cancel the units. Cancel this one and we cancel the other and cancel this one as well so you now have cancelled units then of course we must go back to our numerator for our desired unit which is 1000 meters but again since you squared your denominator should also squared your numerator so there we now have squared as well our numerator so we are now with a left unit which is square meters so obviously we now need the other uh, equivalent statement and transform it into the corresponding conversion factor but remember for this to be cancelled out here the square meters in our denominator we should write the square meters as well and here are acres so let's write that down so here we have written down this equivalent statement into the correct position for your conversion factor so as you can see we'll be able to cancel the unit square meters now cancel this one and the other one here cancel this one as well so we are now left with our desired unit, which is in acres. So this will really help you see if you're going on the right track by simply looking at the units being cancelled out. So you have to make sure, again, that you write the units properly. So you have to make sure that the conversion factors are properly placed. Again, the desired unit are always on the, the numerator and the units that you can cancel out should be in your denominator. And we are left with the final answer sorry with the final unit in acres we then do the calculation which will give us the answer equal to 2.247.105 acres but again you have to go back and look at how many significant figures you had that's 1.00 that's equal to three significant figures so our final answer should only have three significant figures so you have to move the decimal place and round off properly the rounding of my night have been properly introduced before so you have to clearly move the decimal place so that's 2.47 and look at the number after decimal place is just one so we simply retain 2.47 so our final answer is now 2.47 times 10 raised to the power positive 2 acres so this here is our final answer so there you have it that's another example on dimensional analysis hope you enjoyed it thank you for listening and continue learning